Hello everyone, welcome to Fresh Learning Academy. This is the most in demand video which I'm going to share with you all today. So in today's video, I will talk about what is the scope for MBA students, whether they belong to any specialization in government job, banks, public sector units and much more. So don't forget to watch the complete video. So in this video, I will talk about how one can get a government job after completing his or her MBA degree. So these days, many students aspire for PSU jobs or so-called government jobs after they have done their post-graduation degree. Okay, so better perks, benefits along with the job security is the prime factor that makes government job a lucrative kind of career options for many MBAs. Okay, so alongside higher pay, transparency in promotion, increment, convenient working hours, medical facilities, opportunities to travel across regions. And sometimes many of the people think that their government job will lead them to a higher status in society. So whatsoever is your thought, I will tell you how you can find a government job after completing your MBA degree. Now, first thing first, first of all, let us talk about which MBA specialization is the best in demand specialization for government jobs. Now, all the MBA specialization have their own chart. But if you talk about the government sector jobs, though there are many students who are working in various sectors, but basically, according to the trend, specialization of MBA in human resource management, accountancy, I mean to say finance, and in operations. These are the most suitable to get into government jobs. Also, if you have done your MBA in project management, energy management, and as I told you earlier, operations, they too have great value in today's world. So if you talk about sales and marketing, sales and marketing jobs are basically available in abundance with the corporates. But if you talk about the government sector, so human resource management, accountancy, project management, energy management operations have more weightage as compared to sales and marketing. So that was about the government job. Now, if we talk on a general, uh, you know, basis, which MBA has more scope, then traditionally finance, marketing, international management, human resource, IT system, operation management, and entrepreneurship have been the most sought after MBA specialization. Though there are rural management and other kind of, uh, you know, uh, MBAs available, but these the traditional ones are considered the safest career options by most of the students but you know by the time by the technology changing business needs are changing so these days ambient business analytics is also one of the most sought career option for any graduates who would like to do mba so now let us talk about list of top five government jobs after doing MBA. So the first one is personal officers in bank. What is the role of a personal officers or who is a personal officer in bank? So let me tell you that the personal officer in a bank is responsible for human resource activities. The job function of a personal officer could revolve around transferring of employees, arranging training programs, posting, designing perks, conducting promotional exercises and supervising the performance of staff. They look after smooth working and function of HR department. So if you talk on recruitment of personal officers, uh, they are recruited via the competitive exam. You must have heard about IBPS score. So it is conducted on the national level and some banks consider IBPS score. You can check my other videos. I have told about what an IBPS exam is. Okay, so banks like SBI have their own examination for this recruitment and PG in personal management, HR, industrial relations, social work, labor law or social work could be required. And if you talk about the vacancies, then approx 4000 vacancies are offered by IBPS and around 20 by SBI annually. Okay, so these competition is quite tough. So you have to prepare for them accordingly. 
now the second one is marketing officers in bank so banking sector is seeing a tremendous growth and competition so to stand in this competition marketing comes into function every bank requires competent marketing or sales officer so a marketing officer is responsible for devising strategies for marketing the bank products and the duties of the marketing manager could include coordination with ad agency promoting products promoting banks products managing social media managing marketing campaigns and anything related which could lead to the growth of the bank okay now the process of recruitment for marketing officer is same as for personal officer the requirement for the marketing officer is mba in marketing or sales pgdb and pgdbm are also eligible and the number of marketing officers you know the vacancies are quite 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 high because everybody is looking for marketing officers for bank now there are program officers in different agencies so the program officer is primarily responsible for program implementation and the job description include supervising staff activities or including uh, you know working for the program monitoring progress of the program executing activities of the program directing controlling so all these are the job function of the program officer okay now some PS, uh, psus the public sector units may conduct their own test some select on the merit basis and the requirement for this post is mba however if you have done your pg course uh, students may be also eligible for the same post and the number of vacancies if you talk about is less in psus so it could be like 50 or 60 jobs in a year so this one is a tough one to crack so there are many psus public sector units who hire management trainees okay right away like uh, two or three months back i have posted many job vacancies in which psus were hiring management uh, for management trainee position so management trainee is yet another option available for the mba freshers you all can uh, you know um, apply in these kind of psus though the selection criteria is a bit tough and the vacancies are less as compared to the you know private sectors and criterias are based on merit or on entrance exam which may be conducted by the psus so some of the psus uh, you know they quite often post these kind of job vacancies so if you have a year or two year experience then it is well and good but they do hire freshers for the management trainee position so you can keep on checking the uh, sarkari naukri or government jobs portal if you want to know about vacancies related to management trainee position in psus now the other post could be general manager post at various psus and banks so as the name suggests you know a general manager is a person who is responsible for taking care of both the revenue and the cost elements of the profit or loss statement and the psus that might offer general manager post are national dairy development board or the some mining corporation and national small industries corporation bsnl if ci ongc bharat earth movers limited there are ample of uh, you know psus who hire for these kind of vacancies and then again for these kind of vacancies you can check sarkari job portal or uh, you know government job portals so these were the various kind of positions you can apply for in government sector in psus and in banks you can check other videos of mine related to job wherein there is a requirement of a management trainee or i must say requirement of many management trainees right away i have posted one video in which hr management trainee is uh, you know required in other videos there is a psu who is hiring for the finance uh you know uh, trainee so you can check all those videos and i hope this video will add value thank you so much for watching fresh learning academy take care and bye bye